hear that fear uh, is the, the kind of the biggest roadblock and uh, to innovation, which I, I, I understand that. The question really becomes, if you don't innovate, what's going to happen? And I'm way more fearful of not innovating uh, and than I am of innovating and failing. There's failures associated with innovation. There will be some failure, but there's a certainty that you will fail <laughs> if you don't innovate. So we all need to focus on those new things. And we're we're naturally, as you know, as humans, we're you know, we all have that 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 fear of failure that I'm not good enough or I can't do this or you know, uh, yeah, I may have been ses- successful over here, but now that you know this new reality is, is is upon us, I can't be successful in the future. And as leaders, there's a very common uh, phenomenon phenomenon of of the imposter syndrome we feel like oh my goodness some some point people are going to figure out that i'm really not smart enough or i'm really not as good as i as as i am so we're 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 basically uh afraid to fail and we don't want to be seen to do that so moving beyond that uh is really the key and the only way to move beyond that is to try new and unique things that can make an impact Yes, some of it will fail, some of it will work, some of it will accelerate you beyond your wildest dreams. But the worst thing we can do is not try it because that's a certain slow, painful death of really the opportunities in our organization. So we really need to move beyond that. The fear of failure it starts at the top. We need to show as leaders that we're confident enough and we trust our teams enough and that we're willing to put things out there to push those boundaries. And yeah, some of them might not work, but many will, and that will help us grow. So we need to have that ability to to do that. And that's what's going to propel us forward as leaders and as organizations. And, you know, one of the things within Envision, we've had to pivot and adjust very dramatically over the last year in particular, uh, through the course of our history as well. And I remember, you know, every time we make some fundamental shifts, uh, I've, I've got fear myself, a whole crap, I hope this actually works. Uh, but I do know that every time we've taken those chances, we've moved the organization in big steps, not just little incremental steps, which are, which are important too. But every time, you know, I've got a bit of, and I know I'm making the right decision when I know, oh crap, crap this may not work, but it's the right thing to do. Versus if, if I'm not really concerned about it, or it's not really weighing that heavily on me, then it's not big enough of a shift. So we need to take those big steps to move things forward. And that we we'll need to work through that fear. And the way to do that, in my mind, one of the big things that I do to, to move through that fear is what's the possible? What's the visualization of that end state? What's that big thing that I know is possible, that transformation that's possible and what steps do we need to make to make to get there? So once I keep an eye on that end state and the purpose and the reason to believe, then I know that these big changes that can could be fearful or create some stress and anxiety, they're all for the right reasons and they're all leading to this bigger opportunity down the road.